think I may have spent a little bit too much. Never mind. Let's get on with the video. I don't normally go out shopping, so I thought I would just treat myself. And I've got Christmas money, early Christmas money, so, you know, gotta spend it. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, bleh, I can't even talk. So yeah, let's get started. And um, I've kind of forgotten what I bought already, which is bad. I have no idea. So first I'll do like everything from Primark, which is the majority of the stuff. Um, we'll just start off with this bag. The first thing I got were these really nice frilly socks. I love my frilly socks. Um, I've actually got quite a lot already, but you can never have too many of these. They just, I don't know, they just look so cute. And they come with three different colours. We've got pink, blue, and then like a grey colour. <laughs> then I got some more socks. These are just like plain. Um, they're kind of quite sparkly. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's not very interesting. It's just socks because I need more socks. Need to stock up on my sock collection. You can't go to Primark without getting pyjamas, obviously. So, I kind of got... It's just like a vest top type thing with this lace on the top. This is just like pyjamas because I kind of prefer plain ones. Because winter is coming up, I got these really nice cosy pyjama bottoms and they're so, so soft. They've got this really nice pattern on them and they are just super soft and I love them. Got these boots, which I really, really like. They are like this... I don't know what colour is this, obviously it's brown, but it's sort of like, I don't know the shade. But they've got this really nice golden rim around them. That's everything out of this bag. Got the two bags to go. I then got this really nice brown satchel. And I really like this detailing on it and also this here. I then got this really nice sort of, it's kind of like a poncho, but not because it has like a little hook on it. So it's not like you have to put it over your head. Um, it's got this really nice soft hood on it, love that. And I am just in love. Wait a minute. This is so cozy and nice. Now I am a bit embarrassed to say this, but I did actually find this in the kids section, along with quite a lot of other things. Um, I'm kind of quite embarrassed that I do fit into the kids clothes still seen as I'm 16, that goes up to 13 years, but it fits and I love it, so it doesn't matter, as long as it fits, I have no shame. Last bag, and there are a few other things after this, you'll have to wait and see. So I also got this really nice skirt, again it's from the kids section, but it's just so nice, it's got all of these buttons down the front of it, and I've been looking for a denim skirt for quite a while now, um, but they all just seem too expensive but I managed to pick this one up quite cheap it also goes really well with one of the other t-shirts I picked up so I also just picked up another pair of these super high-waisted skinny jeans because I love these and I used to have a lot of trouble fitting into like any pairs of jeans or anything they always used to fall down on me and it's quite embarrassing but these fit me so nicely they're just so good. I really love the colour as well. I also got some like t-shirts and this one is grey with these sparkly stars on it and this goes really nicely with that denim skirt that I showed you earlier. Um, I tried it on together in the changing rooms and I just love the combo of that. It looks really nice, it's just got long sleeves. Then I got another, it's like the same sort of style but obviously the pattern and everything's different so again long sleeves and same sort of material but it's got this kind of floral pattern on it and it says love again this goes quite nicely with the denim skirt and probably just pair that with a pair of jeans maybe I feel like I'm kind of rushing through this but I have got quite a lot to show you guys I'm living in jumpers this autumn winter time because it's just so cold here and it's my just my favorite thing to wear so I picked up a gray one don't have a gray one so it's all good I'm actually so bad at I, I don't know how to describe things when talking about fashion and things I just say I like this I like this I do love my jumpers and it's super cosy so it'll be really nice for our British weather. 
And I think that is all the clothes, but then I got a few other bits, so I'll show you. Also from Primark, I got two candles. They smell amazing. I can't even describe how good they smell. I just couldn't leave them there because I needed these in my life. So first of all, I got this candle, which is Zesty Lemon. Why won't it focus? So this one is Zesty Lemon and does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? I literally walk through all the shops though, just smelling all the candles because I don't know. And then I go a bit dizzy because I've been inhaling so much. Oh my goodness. This smells like heaven. This one is Sugared Almonds. It's a bit like Amaretti and it's just so, so nice. I just cannot get over that smell. It's blooming good. Can I just say, I don't really know why, but I love like the design of these. I just think that looks really pretty and cute. Then we went to uh, HomeSense, because we love HomeSense. And I got a Yankee candle, because you can just never have too many, they're just amazing. It's Christmas in a jar, that's what it is, that's the only way I can describe it. This one is Christmas baking, I just love these, so I will be using this a lot in the upcoming months. Especially since it's coming up towards Christmas. Is that too early to say? I don't know. But it just smells really good. We then went to TK Maxx. They have a lot of similar things to in home sense. First of all, I got some makeup brushes because I only have like one makeup brush, which is kind of weird. I use it for everything and I really needed to get some more. Um, so I decided I would treat myself um, like I did quite a lot yesterday. <laughs> Um, these are the brushes. They kind of look a little bit like the Real Techniques ones, but they're very different actually. Um, see, like a sort of rose gold sort of colour. I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Um, so this is by the brand Simply Essential, and it's a Pro series. These do cost like seventeen pound, but to be fair, it comes in a really nice, really nice little packaging thing. Love that. And inside, there we go. Just how nice is this? Actually, smells really weird. <laughs> so we have all these brushes, which I don't actually know how you use all these, but that doesn't matter because I will, I will learn. Uh, these are all like face brushes. So we've got. It actually says on them, Kabuki. Kabuki. What does that mean? Kabuki brush. Round Kabuki brush. Kabuki brush, everything's kabuki. Tapered kabuki brush, angled flat kabuki brush. Oh, here we go. Flat concealer brush. Precision concealer, precision concealer brush. Small highlighter brush. Face and eye blender brush and angled blender brush. There we go. I was just kind of quite excited about this because I've been wanting to get some more makeup brushes for a while, and this was just really nice to get a big set of them rather than buying it individually. I find that works out cheaper. The last thing I got from TK Maxx was this W7 Beat It Natural Nudes and Eye Colour Palette. Um, this was actually fairly cheap. I know you can get really expensive eyeshadow palettes. I don't actually own any eyeshadow. Don't have any at all. So let's have a look. This was actually only £6, which I think is really good for all of these colours. Um, especially as like, uh, uh, why can't I talk today? Especially as I find that you can pay a lot more for like an eyeshadow palette and I just don't want to spend my money on that sort of thing so I mean for the price you get a really nice selection here, really nice different colours and I just think it's good. I'm looking forward to experimenting with this, I've never really attempted eyeshadow before so that'll be interesting. Also when we went to HomeSense I picked up this book called The Ultimate Natural Beauty Bible. This is something I've been looking for for a long time because I like going down the route of natural products and not using so many chemicals and stuff and trying to make your own products. I just thought it would be a good hobby, something else to sort of get interested in. So I'm very excited to try some of these ideas out and it's everything from like perfume to nail care, making your own face masks, facial scrubs, night treatments, day creams. It's just little tips and recommendations of natural products that are already out there. Um, so 
I love this book and I'm excited to look more in depth to this, even try some of my own things out. Um, it's totally up my street and I think that I'll have some fun making those. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on me attempting to make some. Hope you enjoyed this video. I did spend a lot, but I wanted to share it with you guys. Seen as I barely ever buy this much, let alone go shopping. I, I barely go shopping, but when I do, I really make the most of it. So yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.